Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a beat for Kid Leroy. i take these out. His recent album, Forget Love, just came out recently here in 2020, and it's a great album. I highly suggest you guys to go listen to it. And one of the fan favorite songs, myself included, is going to be Go featuring Juice World. And that, I just, that song is amazing. Every single time that I hear it, when I'm working out or anything like that, I love that song. So I'm not going to be recreating this song today or anything like that. I'm not going to be making it better or worse. It's just my own rendition on how I would produce for Kid Leroy. So... Let's get into that right now. And I've been having some pretty bad beat block as far as melodies go recently, so I went over to Looperman and tried to find some sort of guitar melody, and I found this one right here. So I'm just gonna go pull up that melody loop right there. All right, first thing is first I wanna go over here and go get a little bit of the low end out, or a lot of it. We'll start off right around there. Use some reverb here. I'm gonna go over here, and I think there's actually a guitar preset somewhere. It sounds okay, so right here it sounds like it's a lot lower than the whole rest of the melody. So it sounds a little bit odd, I'm going from right here from the loudest to the quietest. Right, so I'm gonna go over here again and just try and use a limiter, see if I can't counteract that just a little bit. I don't wanna do like some like crazy compression, but I do wanna go over here and just, just touch it. Just touch the little little spots right there. It's perfect. I'm going to bring up the character a little bit in Pro R. Just so it's more lively. All right, so this melody is perfect for a Kid Leroy type beat. He uses a lot of really catchy melodies and mainly guitar and piano and stuff like that. But since I am using inspiration from the song Go, I really want to try and find some really nice wavy guitar. So this is going to work out perfectly. First thing is first, we're going to grab a clap. And once again, all drums that I'm going to be using today are from my unreleased pack called Hitters and it should be out in the next month or two. So look out for that. I'm gonna be layering this other clap right here. And then, why not? We'll go a little bit crazy. We'll grab the snare too. Turn it down a lot, cause it's a very loud, punchy snare. And then we'll also paste it down over here. I kinda like this super quick hi-hat. All right, so what I'm doing right here is just putting everything back up into key since we are in F sharp minor. Uh, C is not in that key, so that's why I'm putting everything into C sharp because it it's in the key. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I noticed in this song was that there are like zero hi-hat rolls in there. I think I'm gonna add some rolls, but you don't really need to for this type of beat. It's just supposed to really just catch a groove. That should be fine. Very simple, I'm just gonna go to the very last eight bars over here and get rid of these. I did do this in the last beat that I, that I made for you guys on video, but I'm just gonna go over here and hit one third beat and then hit control U. Don't forget to go back down into cell. That is a very big mistake that I always make. So right in between two and three, we're gonna add this right there and right there. And this is it's having my kick in mind. I know I'm gonna have a kick right here. So it's gonna be perfect for that. And also in the song, the perks really weren't taking up that much of the mix. So I'm actually gonna be turning that down just a little bit more than I usually do. That should be fine like that, man. I'm gonna be using nine right here. And then I'm actually gonna delete that part right there. Leave that right there and put you right there. I think that should be good. And I am gonna be doing the 808s before the kick this time, just because it's a very melodic 808 pattern. And the really weird thing about it is, there's not a whole lot of kicks layered with the 808. It's very, they can go like a, even like two bars, I think that I heard without a single kick, just with the 808 going ham. So I'm gonna do something similar to that here. And I am gonna be using my Sim 808 one right here. My favorite 808 of all time. Put it down into key over here. And like I said in the last video, I like to do my melodic 808s with a very quick 808. And although this is a very long 808, what I can do is go over here into outs and just go until I get something that I like. That should be fine like that. Kind of like a medium one. Now we gotta go in and go make the edwitch a lot more melodic. Okay, cool. 
Now the next thing is going to be going over to the kicks, pasting on our 808 pattern that we had onto it, and then hitting Alt K, and then of course up to C sharp again. Right here, I'm gonna make a small change, delete those, and I want to replace that with my clap actually, and then over here is where we're gonna go with a little bit more crazy 808s. Much better. Having those breaks in your 808 can really help out. All right, now that sounds all well and good, but I do wanna find a couple more melodies, maybe just like some layers to put in the bottom of that guitar. We're gonna go to Omnisphere right here and see if we can't find anything that we like. I'm gonna try like some bells, man. Ooh, that's loud, but I think that might actually sound pretty good. Wait, okay, now right here? Right there. Okay, I think it worked out pretty nice. Yeah, okay. Alright, that'll be good. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, that's awesome. Next thing, we can actually go over here to, to Keyscape, actually. I'm gonna try and see if I can't find another bell tone, because I really do love the Celeste orchestral right here. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this and put it down to that one. All right, so I do have an idea for the mixing, so I'm gonna put this over to Mixer Channel 2 and 2. First thing is first, I'm gonna give her some of that low end. Not a whole lot here to get rid of, though. That should be fine like that. And then we're actually gonna go get Halftime over here by Cable Guys, great plugin. That should be fine like that, just very subtle. And then another plugin, which a lot of people have not heard of, is going to be Back Mask over here. It's a reverse plugin, but I don't want it to be exactly at 100%, so I'm also gonna go over here. All right, getting somewhere. Now I do wanna go grab this open hat right here, put it right underneath my hi-hats. And gonna be very simple, I just wanna layer this kick right here with it. All right, and then in bar four, I want to be right here. And then the last eight bars, I want to be, yeah, like right here, I think. I'm just gonna be getting rid of some of those kicks. I can play forgot to do it earlier, so we're gonna do that now. That should be fine. I think that's all that I really want to do. Get rid of that one, that one. Perfect, perfect. Let's go and put all the drums onto the mixer channel right now too. First thing is first, we are gonna be turning down those claps and snares. Now let's try and find one more melody over here in Omnisphere again. I don't think that's it. And for this one, I'm gonna be putting the stereo separation all the way to 100% separated. And I want it to just be like atmospheric. I think that I'm all done. Okay, so I'm gonna do the mixing really quickly. All right, so I did take a little bit of a break here. Once to make sure that everything was okay in the mix and the master. So I did all that off camera and I really didn't do that much. All I really did was some distortion, EQ, limiting, uh, compression, all that good stuff. And I gotta say, it does sound a lot better after doing that. Now you might be thinking to yourself, this beat sounds nothing like it did in Go, which First of all, I told you we're not remaking Go, we're making our own beat here, but what I really feel makes Go so special is actually the arrangement that he does in there. So let's go over that right now. And one final thing, I did change out the final Omnisphere sound for something different. But that is pretty much the only thing that I changed inside of this beat. Okay, back into the arrangement. I right, so like every modern day song, he has the eight bar intro, which I have right here. But then after that, he does use the next eight bars to really build some energy with only one melody, hi-hats, and snares. And I think there's a perk in there, I think. But we're gonna try and do that right now too, see how that works out for us. So I don't want the snares or the other clap. Actually, you know what? Take out the snare, and then we're gonna use that last clap right there, okay? Over here, cut out the last little bit right there. Same thing for right here. And that's gonna make the drop hit a lot harder, okay? And the reason why we are gonna be doing this is because I noticed that he actually repeats the hook a lot, but just put in different parts of the beat that are not necessarily the hook. So we're gonna be doing that a lot in this arrangement too. We're gonna have all the sounds coming for the hook right here. We're gonna drop immediately into it. Okay, 
guess we're gonna get rid of that part right there. We're just gonna be using these four bars right here. Cut these off, hold that on back over, get rid of those. <laughs> But we don't want, let's go and see. Dude, shut up. <laughs> that Omnisphere is seriously annoying. Get rid of the Omnisphere, get rid of these, get rid of the rim shot. Right. We're gonna bring in that one. We're gonna leave the melody right here the same though. That's fine, that's good. And I did notice that he has a few parts without the 808 and just the kick going. So we're gonna do that and then cut out these right there. Okay, good, be good. All right, so now it is time for Juice's verse and I wanted to basically copy over what I had in the very first verse and then make it different, not like subtly too. I wanna to make it really different. So let's go over that right now. First thing I can do is bring over this again, but make it unique. And then we can go and pitch it down by a whole octave. And then we're gonna bring in this part right here like we did before, just to uh, have like that kind of like pre-hook again. All right, now for this part right here, he actually has a couple of different hooks and just basically parts that he repeats. So once again, I do wanna give him that room before we actually get into the actual hook. And then this next part, I could be tricking myself a little bit, um, but I believe he has like, he doubles the hook in the very last one. So I'm gonna put that back over here, but he made like one really big change to it. I'm not gonna do the same change. I think he just added like some strings to it, but I'm just gonna go over here and make this one unique again and pitch it up by a whole octave. And then also why not? Let's go and bring in those hi-hats again. Those right there and take out a little bit of the high end. Not too much though. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, and then for the outro, he actually did something really unique and he brought in a whole bunch of like orchestra strings just for the outro. So I want to do something very similar to that. I'm gonna go over to Arcade and in the Overture, Valiantly Fought is where I'm gonna think I'm gonna be using this. Ooh. Ooh. Can I pitch that up an octave? Would that sound good? This sounds like some, <laughs> some Marvel stuff. Hit Control Alt C to bring that over to a WAV file. All right, I think that is all that I've got today. It's a very simple beat, I'm not gonna lie. I think the main thing about Kid Leroy beats is that they're very simple, get a vibe off of it, hard hitting drums, and you're good to go. And I was thinking about doing like a Rod Wave type beat video after this, or a Juice World or something like that, but not saying that they're not their own artists, but type beats, you, you can really just give it to any four of those and they probably kill it, so. I'll probably still do one in the future, but. Just a thought that I had. All right, so just a reminder that all the gems we use in this beat today are actually in my unreleased pack that I'm working on, and it should be out very shortly. But I think that I am done for today. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more future content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.